Hello everyone, to this week we have the water cycle. So in with this project, we want to show how is the water cycle process doing. So we have, we have a project here that, and for this project we need the tissue paper, we need markers, and let me explain you how the water cycle process works. So here we show the ground in the water, the water like river ocean that we have in the water on the ground. So what happened? First thing, the sun hit the water that we have on the on the ground, like river, ocean, lakes. Once the sun hit the water, the water vapor goes up goes up like a like a boil water so you can do at home like for example ask your mom to put water to boil and you can see the vapor the, they go up and those uh, that process we call vaporization once the water goes up into the sun then goes to the another process that we call condensation the the water the water vapor forms the clouds and uh, like and they form like water droplets water droplets and then the this process we we call condensation like for example if you after you boil the water if you pick up the lid from the from the pad you can see the uh, droplets on the lid that they holding on the lid so this process we call condensation once we um, we pass to the next um, next step and it's going to be the rain precipitation what happened and how the rain is formed the droplets of the water it's they become too heavy and the the clouds they cannot hold them anymore so the water uh, droplets fall on the ground and they goes where they goes again to the river ocean and lakes and then it's coming the same process like we 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 said before so Water on the on the ground, lakes, river, ocean, and they go up through the vapor evaporization process, and then condensation, and then precipitation, and start all over again. And here is the water cycle process.